the GPG tools package for a Mac and use it to verify the signature of a downloaded file. So previously I have downloaded the GPG suite package and I'm going to run the installer. I want all the default options. Of course it's going to ask for my, system, for my password because it has to install system software. It opens some help files, which I'll dismiss for the moment. Um, you, pro you probably ought to read them. So the first thing it asks you to do is to generate a new key pair. When you install GPG for the first time, um, it notices that you don't have a public and private key pair. GPG, or really, which is an alternative to PGP, so I'll use those two terms interchangeably is an encryption and verification system that relies on every person having two keys, a private key that they keep to themselves and a public key that everyone else can see. And it's by signing or encrypting the files with one of those two keys that both secure and verified communication can take place in a mathematically provable way. You don't have to generate a new key pair. In fact, for the moment, let me cancel um, because we don't really need it for what I'm about to do. I'll maybe come back later and show you how to make a key pair if you want to create one. So what's the situation? Oh, let me close the installer. I don't need that anymore. And I'll remove that. Okay. So what's the situation in which you want to use GPG to verify a, a, a downloaded file? Well, let me go to a download directory in, in Drive, the folder I've shared, and maybe there's a very important file you want to read, lesson0.pdf. <clears throat> but because it's so important, you're worried that maybe it got changed accidentally, maybe someone went in and changed it just to mess with you, um, or maybe there was just an internet hiccup when you were downloading it, you want to make sure the file you end up downloading is the same as the one that I uploaded. So, Here's the, the PDF that's super important, a preview of it. Let me download that file because after all, I want it on my computer so I can work with it. So yes, I want to keep the file. It ends up in my downloads directory. Now, going back to Google Drive, next to lesson0.pdf is lesson0.pdf.ask. So the .ask indicates that this is a PGP signature for the file lesson0.pdf. So let's look at that signature and see what it looks like. So this is clearly a PGP signature. It doesn't tell me anything other than the fact that it is a signature and has this big pile of what should be essentially random characters. So I'll explain in a moment um, where this signature comes from, but for the moment let me download this file and it of course also ends up in my downloads directory. So what can I do with that signature? Well, um, now that I have the GPG keychain installed, I can click on that file and notice what it says, verification results, lesson zero.pdf, signed by Abraham David Smith, undefined trust. The important thing here is that it says sign, it knows what file it's talking about, lesson 0.pdf, and it knows that file has been signed by this particular person, but we don't know whether or not we ought to trust that person. So what this is doing is when you click on the, lesson, the file lesson 0.pdf.ask, it's looking at that signature we just saw in the browser window, right? Remember the signature looks like this file. So it's reading this file. And it's noticed, so embedded in this information is a, is a hint of who had signed the file. It's then checking the internet to see um, what key had signed that file and who that key belongs to. And then it's observing that in the same directory as the signature, there's a file actually called lesson0.pdf. So what it's doing is it's examining that file bit by bit and comparing it to what this person said that file ought to look like 
and indeed they match. The fact that this is simply a message and not a big red warning saying failure to match or verification error or so on means that this is in fact the file that this person or the person controlling this key said it was going to be. So a PGP signature contains two pieces of information. It tells you that the file you're looking at is the same as the one that was signed because if there's any small, no matter how tiny or large the alteration is to the original file, this signature should really not change. At least it's statistically extremely unlikely as in many mul multiple lifetimes of the universe unlikely. And it tells you who declared at that time that the file is what they said it was. So there's two questions here. Is the file what it was claimed to be, and who claimed it was that in the first place? And a PGP signature deals with both of those questions simultaneously. Now, how do you know who this person is who signed it? How do we know who that person is? Well, in fact, let me open that one more time. I can look at... Um, or does it let me do that? I don't think it lets me do that. So let me take you to the key, which is on my web page. And here's the key, adsmithpubkey.ask. So this is, this is the key I use to sign this file. It's a lot of random bits. It's about um, 4,000 random bits, which is plenty for... Um, any sort of encryption you want to do in the human world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this file. Uh, let me move that out of the way. I'm going to download this file. Oops, I need to, okay. I'm going to download this file, finally. Save page as. And yes, I'll call it the same thing. And of course it ends up in my downloads directory. Now, what I want to do from the keychain manager is I want to import that key. And now it's imported. Now along the keys that you know about, there are two of them. One of them is the key from the people who wrote the software we're currently using. The other one is this key by this person claiming to be Abraham David Smith, A. Smith wanted to do it for under EDU with this ID number. Now, if you were to make your own public and private key, then you could officially declare in a cryptographically secure way that you actually trust this person. And then, when you look at the verification, it would say fully trusted or marginally trusted to indicate how much you trust this person to be honest about signing that file. But for the moment, this has served its purpose. Um, if you believe that this key really belongs to me, then the file we downloaded is indeed the same as the file that I had signed. Let's see what happens when the file got altered. So to do that, let me mess with the file a little bit. Um, let's see, let me close that. Let me close that. That lets me... So let me go to my downloads folder and let me actually do something kind of nasty. I'm going to take this file, I'm going to rename it. Um, what do I want to do with it? Let me do something particularly nasty. Like, let me come, let me. Uh, let me copy it so I don't, well actually, let me just delete it. I'll just do that. Okay, so that file is now gone. And let me take some other random file, like say this one here, and let me make a copy of it that, oops, so that's actually a video. Let me make a copy of it that surreptitiously I'm going to call lesson0.pdf. And 
So now I have this other file called lesson0.pdf that's now a totally different file, right? So what happens when I verify that? If I now try to verify again, ah, lesson0.pdf verification failed. So you know that there is a problem that the file is not what the signature claim said it was. So that's the sort of thing that you have to look for to see if maybe your download was corrupted or the file you got was somehow altered along the way, either by you know a hard drive error, it could be you know sunspots flipping bits from the memory of your computer, it could be someone walked too close to your hard drive with a magnet and messed it up a little bit, it could be that you know your wireless was being interfered with when you're downloading the file. It could be that the web server was surreptitious. It could be that there's some evil player along the way messing with your data. Or it could be your roommate was messing with your laptop again. Right? So all of these things are possible. And this verification failure tells you that something is wrong with this file. OK. So that's the main purpose. Um, I'll stop there. And next time, we'll talk about how to make your own key to build a web of trust of people who you trust.